Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hey, Kosh. Eric, did you have um, anything you wanted to add to the agenda today? Uh, I'm scrolling. Let's see. Uh, like it's not in particular. I, I was starting to go through some of the things we had talked about. Um, and then I had to get on a bridge for most of yesterday afternoon. So, oh, okay. No worries. Yep. We will get started shortly here. Welcome, Lewis. Um, thank you. Um, no, I don't. I don't join that many Zoom meetings, so I'm, I'm still looking for the unmute button. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, welcome. Yeah. Uh, so we, I only have, I only have one item on the agenda today, so it's it's pretty short. So if no one else has anything else, I guess it'll just be a short call today. Um, so, but I'll, uh, if you have anything, Akash or Lewis that you want to add for a topic of discussion, uh, please feel free to add it to the notes and then we can, and we can cover that. So, uh, yeah, so I will just cover the one item that I had, uh, for now. Um, it's just that we had kind of an old, um, an old back, like, backlog that wasn't really being used much. So um, I just migrated everything over to uh, projects planning board uh, for the new projects beta. So I'm just going to spend like a couple minutes on that real quick, just so people are aware of it. And then that'll be about it. So yeah, you should see, oh, Jimmy's here. Okay. So you should see my screen now, right? Do you see my screen? Yes. Okay, cool. <clears throat> yeah. So um effectively now everything uh that we all issues uh should be added into this ratified planning board and this is kind of the way that project beta works is that once it's in here then you can do all kinds of different views based on it so i i have kind of everything that's open view um i have kind of a, a stand-up type of view so anything that is um hopefully you know in progress uh, work that's in progress uh, that we can we can triage here uh, you know I have the beta milestone which is kind of our next um, upcoming one um, I added also a a priority uh, just a numerical value which is one thing you can do with projects beta to help kind of assess what's you know most important for you know working on next um, and then just like a no, a no milestone, uh view as well so eventually like i don't know hopefully sooner or later i will i will also go add a add to projects beta so then that way automatically when issues get added to the repo they automatically get added to this project uh that makes it a little bit nicer but right now we at least have all the issues that are on github uh are also in this planning board so yeah any questions on that from anybody Hey David, no, can you that's... share a link? Uh, yeah, it's actually in the the notes, but I can also paste it in the. Oh, okay, uh, okay, okay. There, it's also it's also publicly in Ratify. So if you look in the planning board, so like uh, if you go here and you go to uh, projects, uh, you can also see it here, Ratify planning. Okay, got it. Um, all right, so let's see. Let me just I'll paste the link anyway. Go ahead. Okay. Um, so, so does anyone else, let's see, have anything else on the agenda today? Jenny, Lewis, Eric, Kosh. We don't have any active PRs. We just released uh, the 1.1. 1 
and that kind of gets all of our all the PRs open minus the depend about one. Um, and we have a separate issue on this one to try and fix that. Um, so there's not really any actionable PRs to, to review. Um, I did, I guess, uh, one minor thing. Um, I did push an update to our um, notation Azure K, uh, Key Vault slash Ratify article. Um, so that's cleaned up now. I guess I could post that in there uh, just to, for an awareness perspective. But uh, I, didn't, I don't think we really need any discussion on that per se. Uh, the, only, the only other thing I was going to say is I'm, I, I talked about this with David, but I'm going to take a pass through the documentation, the docs folder that we have and see what it makes sense to uh, update, what it makes sense to, to keep, what, what it might make sense to, um, you know, drop if, if that functionality is not important or, or just at least make a list of like, documentation or guides for end users versus some of the stuff that's in there that is more for like internal design related information. So if there's something that is important as far as, um, you know, some feature or something that we, that we should make sure we track, um, I guess let, let me know or, or drop an issue or something. Yeah, so we're just tracking that with this one issue here, which is really specific to one article. But uh, you know, we we're gonna uh, Eric's gonna do a quick pass, and then I'm gonna kind of take a look as well to pick it up from there because there's there's a number of other things we need to do. But we we have a lot of documents floating around. We have Akasha's a number of like hack down MD articles there in the design folder, and uh, we need to kind of start to pair down what is we want to support and what we don't um, and kind of clean up clean up things there. So yeah, a lot of a lot of a lot of things in in here. Um, <laughs> so so those are good foundations to start from, but I think we want to things that we want to keep around, obviously we want to get get off of uh, Akasha's private hack ND to the actual you know mark down in the repo. Yeah, are we also um, reviewing the planning docs, all of this, trying to catching up? Um, Sajay kind of asked me sort of step in formally more in his place um, to represent. Uh, so I'll be, I'll be attending more. I saw that there's two meetings. Um, I think one, of, one other one happens on Tuesdays. Um, so do we have different audiences on each? Uh, yeah, I mean, it is a little bit different time zone trying to cater to, to, to two audiences. Um, so, okay. but yeah, it, it kind of depends on the week on how many people show up next week. Uh, Susan will be back. Uh, so she should be around, but um, from an external contributor perspective, kind of varies. Jim, Jimmy's a, a regular. <laughs> welcome, welcome, Jimmy. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. I... I've been I joined a couple meetings way back when the project started, and I I think I I saw Jimmy since then. Um, he's representing AWS, correct? Okay. Uh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Right now, there were there were others from AWS. I think on the original meetings, but I've been the primary one for here the last couple months, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So I know I did I did a uh, tag you in a couple uh, like kind of AWS specific issues that we had up there, Jimmy. I don't know if you saw that. Um, I just um, saw it in my um, it shows up in my Yahoo email. This is where all my GitHub stuff goes, I think. So okay. yeah, I just saw it. So I need to look into it further. I may have to reach out to Akash to get additional information on it. Okay. Um, I actually had two questions. Uh, David, maybe you can help with that. Um, do we know if ORS goes, is RC2 ready or I'm not sure if we're tracking that? Because we, I don't uh, think we can move until there. Yeah, we don't want to. Yeah, we don't. I know that is an item that I have as, uh, I mean, obviously we have the depend about there. Yep. Uh, but um, ORS, ORS uh, with RC2 spec. Um, I believe is going to be there for the 0.14 uh, for the, well, that's the client and the Oresco CLI uh, 
let's see. I think I, I, I think it's in the 2.0 at least we have to check real quick, but that should be should be up there. Uh, milestone. I'd have to see, I'd, I'd have to see what they, I, yes, there it is. Yeah, so it is, it's done. Nine days ago, it got updated for the 2.0 RC2 release, but um, they're shooting for this one August August 12th. Um, and that at that point, it would be the RC2 spec. So you'd probably want to do, you know, once we do the upgrade uh, to the RC2 spec, we probably want to do it at the same time as, as this right so then that should help just kind of resolve it okay yep sounds good mm -hmm. um and the second one is that uh go 1.19 got released yesterday and we're on 1.17 do we want to track an item to upgrade at least to 1.18 or i don't know how big of an issue it is but yeah i mean we we can i think uh like i mean is there any issues right now with it running on 1.18? I don't think so, because I think we have both, we have both, right? I think the build run uses 1.17, um, but I think we need to check on that. But yeah, I guess, I, locally I've been building with 1.18 and I don't think it's been an issue, so. Yeah, build uses 1.17 in our GitHub workflow. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. Um, I know that was like at least some of the logic was. I think uh, some of the these repos have still use one dot one seven, but I mean, I don't. I think for. I think they're also doing, if I remember off the top of my head, using one dot eight eighteen as well. I I don't. I mean, because we're we're separate. I mean, I think if we want to just standardize on one dot eighteen only, I I mean, I don't see a reason why that's a problem, but. Do we have any compliance requirements to do these updates regularly or what's the forcing function? Yeah, there's no, there's no, uh, right now there's not, not anything like that yet um, that we have. So, but we do try and, I mean, with, uh, you know, we do have dependent bots, so it does, does help with that. Um, there's, there's certainly more things we could do from, the ratify project itself with signing code signing the the release and other other things i do have i think we have off the top of my head there's one item that's related to that but um but yeah there's not anybody checking checking on us or anything yeah i, I just checked notation and or as and they both use a matrix so they use they build for 117 and 118 um so we could do the same but yeah i think the only motivation is probably as dependencies shift their version we probably want our versions to track to whatever the most recent version that dependencies use is yeah yeah i think that the only thing the concern here is how how often these these packages get reversioned and i think i believe i think akash were you mentioning that this uh like mostly manual work um the ones that the dependent bot can't patch directly because either a dependency's dependency has some right fixed on some version that's vulnerable then you have to kind of go in and manually override which is what we did in our go mod to unblock for the 1.10 uh, release so um yeah i'm not i'm not sure how we want to handle that 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 is a question of how to handle dependency versus the compiler version so the the, yeah. the case you're talking about is not specific to compiler version it's specific to when there's some issue in our dependency tree i see yep so yeah i mean for the most part the last couple like go compiler updates that i've that i've tried have been fairly painless and haven't really uh, presented issue, but that's 
probably something to track. And if it's not too hard to stay, um, you know, up to date with with releases to that, it's probably worthwhile. How often do, do these happen? Like once a month? No, I'd say a quarter, maybe. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think I think the the velocity of release uh, it somewhat depends on how like the amount of contributions we have, right? So, um, but I I mean, my general rule of thumb is like unless there's really almost no no development, like you should at a minimum release once a month. Um, that's kind of my my rough baseline, but we don't have like a hard and fast rule for at least for ratify today on release cadence. We uh we have yeah we we have um like I said Susan coming back and and whatnot so we, I think and it depends on also obviously external contributors so who who else wants to be doing PR stuff to the repo uh, on the on the volume we have. Jimmy, Jeff. Okay, I just get the little yellow. The yellow <laughs> sign there for that. Okay. Well, um, yeah, it sounds like I mean we just maybe if no one has anything else, we just end the call short today. And uh yeah, we will see folks next week. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.